just going to take you through a few of the tracks um, just to show you a few of the processes that are used to create the track and um, how I went about doing the kick and the most important element of techno and the lead sound we'll start with which sounds like this Okay, so um, yeah, so basically that sound is created if I turn all the effects off in massive and putting an ARP on top of that. So it's just a simple preset for massive uh, sign verb. So it sounds a bit of a mess um, where all the effects taken off. But anyway, that's yeah, so don't need that one so the main thing that gives it the um, the actual the actual uh, bounce is the ARP and then it goes through guitar rig so if I put that through the ARP and now put it through guitar rig it comes together and sounds like and then once I've done that, I've gone. Sorry, that was created in um, using guitar rig using the trance gate and uh, the step sequencer set uh, one over sixteen, and that's what gives that the the bounce to it. And then after that, I've got it going through the a delay, uh, on boys delay, and that sounds like. And then I put a Space Designer reverb on there just to give it some space. Okay, so that's the Space Designer on there. Um, and then after that, I just did some EQ, um, taking out the low end, just a little bit of the sharp frequencies at the top. Um, and then have it go through a, a compressor just to beef it up a bit. And then um, a limiter just to squash the the troublesome frequencies coming through there. So that's the lead sound. Um, then I've got the, the next two important elements are the kick. So I started off with just a normal D minor kick and then I doubled it up with a, another layer underneath to, to give it a real thump. So as you can see that the the, um, <clears throat> the kick there is just um, a standard kick. I just EQ'd it a bit, taken off the, the high end frequencies on that one and cut it on the bass frequencies there the low frequencies and just emphasize the thud there a little bit at uh, 75 hertz uh, sorry 102 hertz um, yeah so that one goes there and then I just made a copy of that kick into this channel and this sounds like this so what I did to get this real thuddy version of the kick was to put it through the EQ and take all the high end off then put it through a bass amp designer uh, the built in one in Logic on the heavy bottom and then I put it through uh, amp a clean country reverb amp in Logic and that's just to um, give it more give it more of a hard hitting sound and that's that's basically it on the kick there 
and, and then what I did with the kick was I bounced it out as a um, split layer and then I basically reinserted the kick uh, into mono because if I if I show you that there that that's that that kick is actually in stereo and obviously best to get your kicks in mono so as you see that I just bounced it out as a split a split layer a split wav sample and then you get two versions of that um, one a left one a right I just binned one of them and renamed the left one the mono um, and then reinserted it and there you go you can see it's 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 actually in mono there and sits better in the mix as it's in mono uh, so that's how I did the kick and then when it all comes together and you notice that I started using some uh, effects there and I've used the riser so this is a uh, going into the um, sort of first verse so to speak um, what's this here that's a hi-hat obviously that's a hi-hat there it's got a bit of bad clip on the end of this riser actually I didn't realise that um, yep yeah, so that's the got a hi-hat going on there and you've got a vocal just as the riser finishes just before the beat comes in I have no idea what that is I think it's just a random vocal I've just um, I think I pitched it down yeah pitched it down um, just a little bit there um, which orig originally sounded like I just thought it sounded better slightly pitched down there that. and then the beat comes in so I've added a atmospheric sound there um, just that one there look, which is and that's just a s small snippet of a sample that I used. Um, I well, I didn't do any EQ to that. I probably should have took some of the bottom end out, and I put that through the Valhalla Shimmer, uh, the Taj Mahal setting, and that takes it from a simple sample like that to. which is a really cool plug-in and get some really nice um, li literally turn a snippet of a sound of a vocal into a huge pad sound there and then that goes into the compressor and on the compressor I sidechain that um, to the sidechain track which is the basically the kick just repeated with no output um, and then I'll just turn the ratio up a bit um, just to give it that side chain effect. So it misses every beat of the kick and creates the side chain effect. So it plays on like that and it goes up to um, this bit and I introduce a new synth sound, another vocal there, and as you can hear the, um, the new synth sound comes in, actually let's, um, let's play that again, and um, it's some automation on there so that's, let's go in, introducing from slightly lower volume up to minus 8.5 dB and so that introduces the new synth sound and then 
this this is a, a version of the main melody that I rebounced out and I think I just put it through another effect in um, guitar rig and just to, to make a different version of it. Just puts it in another dimension and adds, it just varies up the um, lead which obviously can get repetitive if it's uh, repeated too much. Now the main um, sound here that runs throughout the track The acid sound was created in uh, Acid Box. Uh, just, I think I just took one of the presets um, and yeah, just uh, changed it to F minor. So when I play it, I just play that. And then what I did was I recorded, bounced that to a, another a, a bus track, bust it to another track, and then recorded it in and then just played with the parameters so ended up obviously muting that track and then obviously I've got the new version the recorded version of the acid line going on here and if I run through it you can see that it varies as I played it sort of live during record, recording back in the track. And what I did was um, when, it, when it drops, when the, um, when you get an intermission here between the, the beat, I've, I've sort of increased the um, cut off again. the cut off again see during the transitional parts of the track take it down and then here comes the beat again so I've just played with it as as the track was recorded really in, in line in line with the um, feel of the track you know and then all together it comes together and sounds a little bit of an effect going on there, just a glitchy effects. Okay, so that's that's basically how I made that track. Very very simple track really. And arrangement wise, I've basically just repeated uh, sections of the track. Um, so I've taken this whole section here, repeated it here. I've got a longer section here, I've just repeated it here and left my drops sections there to add space to the mix. Uh, call it your chorus and then the, the verse, chorus, verse, sort of sticking to the sort of textbook dance way of writing a track. And yeah, so it's just repeated all along, repeated the, uh, the vocals there. And then, what does it do it at, at the end? It just yeah, the second synth sort of builds up a bit, and um, yeah, that's basically it. So, hope that was useful to you. And um, please subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.